Howdy, y'all. Thank you for joining us today as we do an unboxing for an Arkham Horror the Card Game. And we're going to be unboxing five expansions, which are the Investigator Starter Deck. The five starter decks we will be unboxing are Stella Clark, Nathaniel Cho, Harvey Walters, Winifred Habemach, and Jacqueline Fine. Arkham Horror is a game that is made for one to two players that takes about 60 to 120 minutes for ages 14 plus. This is a living card game with deck construction, cooperative play, and variable player powers. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to take a look at these Investigator Starter Decks. They are for the Arkham Horror card game, and these are like more characters that you can play with their starter decks and extra cards for the game. And the different characters are Jacqueline Fine, Harvey Walters, Stella Clark, Winifred Habamock, Habamock, <clears throat> and Nathaniel Cho. All right, I think I recognize a couple of them. And just a heads up, if you can find them and if you're interested, it looked like since I had pre-ordered these that they come with some uh, art cards. I remember when I was doing the order, it mentioned something about some uh, pre-sale exclusives. So I guess this must have been it. Just show you some of them. This is the one from the Jacqueline Fine, if I didn't show it. Um, pretty cool looking. Looks like some of the artworks from probably going to see on the cards, which is kind of nice. So that was the ones from Jacqueline Fine. So we'll go ahead and take a look at Jacqueline Fine. I already pre-cut these. There's usually a security thing right here and you can tell whether it's been opened or not. I already pre-cut them just so that we can get straight into the opening. All right. So usually I, there's the rules inside these if you haven't opened one before. Uh, it's kind of like the ones from the, uh, the normal packs where they're gonna have a little bit of instructions and rules there and then you'll have the pack which is the cards inside the blister. It just kind of show you the back. This, like this one says here, ready to play Mystic Starter Deck along with 26 upgrades for campaign play. She, Jacqueline Fine, the Psychic, use your foresight to predict and manipulate the odds for you and your teammate. These cards can also be used to augment and customize existing decks. And one nice thing I really like in this game is all the data, I keep wanting to call them data packs, that's what they were called in Android, um, but all the packs that you can get for the scenarios all have this little scanner thing and, and you can scan it and it'll let you know what the cards inside but of course we're going to look at them here on this video but that's always a nice thing that i think is a nice addition because you can kind of see whether it's stuff you want to add before you buy it without having to try to find one of these videos or something all right so they show the starter thing i probably won't show this on each of them um, basically it has their little story here which is always a nice little addition. And then how this expansion works. Which is nice. Uh, explains her starter deck and then actually shows you what's in it. It shows you how, basically explains how you want to kind of play that starter deck. And then tips on upgrading her. And then frequently asked questions, which are always nice. And then expansion symbol and whatnot. So, cool. All right. So it has the character card for moving around. I like to get the figurines for these. Which Fantasy Flight does have for a lot of the old ones. It's just they're harder to find. Because they were printed up for Arkham Horror, the board game, second edition. All right. We got our character card here. Pretty standard. All right, let's look a look at our deck here. And this actually looks like it might. So it's got some new stuff here. That was one of the artwork cards they showed. Some nice stuff here. Definitely things I want to look at, see what else could be added. 
and they give you enough to where you could sit there and have them for the other decks or for this deck clairvoyance ineffable truth familiar spirit crystal pendulum robes of endless night astral traveler some new spells hypnotic gaze parallel fates voice of Ra dark prophecy here's some more cards defiance eldritch inspiration grotesque statue robes of endless night hypnotic gaze guts azure flame clairvoyance ineffable truth so just better versions arcade studies recharge azure flame clairvoyance ineffable truth all right so that was a look at her starter deck so that was Jacqueline Fine. We'll go ahead and look at Harvey Walters next. And let me show you all the art cards. Harvey Walters, I definitely recognize from the old original game. I know I played him a ton. I really like these art cards. They are nice. At least they made it to where it's just something like I hate it when a game does have something that it's cool to have something that you can have as a pre-order, but I hate it when a game has a pre-order and the pre-order is like promos or something, because especially if you miss the pre-order or something, like I said, we already know this is going to be the same, but I hate it when you miss the pre-orders because then you miss out on some promos, which could change the way a game is played, which I think is ridiculous. So I love the idea that, they just give you something which is a nice little addition, but not something you just have to have. All right, so we got Harvey Walters' card, his character. Your actual stats for him. His deck and everything that it includes, along with a little bit of his story. All right. Vault of Knowledge. Here's his Thrice Damned Curiosity. Oh, it's got two of them. Obsessive. Arcane Enlightenment, which is one of the art cards. Fragments. Disc of its Zomna. Encyclopedia, which I think is already a card from the older ones. Feed the Mind, Forbidden Tome, Higher Education, Laboratory Assistant, Wit and Green, an Ally, Burning the Midnight Oil, Cryptic Writings, Extensive research. Ooh, that's an expensive one. Twelve there. Occult in invocation. Preposterous sketches. Deduction. Library descent. Glimpse the unthinkable. Esoteric atlas. Wit and Green, some upgrades, as we're seeing the same ones, but just better versions. Cryptic Writings, I've Got a Plan, Mind Over Matter, Seeking Answers, Perception, Forbidden Tome,
Farsight, Miskatonic Archaeology Funding, and the Necronomicon. Look at that. Hmm. So that was Harvey Walters' deck. All right. We'll look at Stella Clark next. Oh, I can get this off of there. So Stella Clark. I guess she looked at the back of Harvey Walters' box. We'll do a little backwards thing here. Let's kind of give you a gist of him. So Harvey Walters is the professor. You'll draw cards rapidly and use your expanded hand size to solve arcane mysteries. Sounds cool. And then our Stella Clark will be... Stella Clark, the letter carrier. Recover quickly from failed tests and snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Sounds interesting. I actually like the red cards a lot. I think most of the decks I play, I usually use a lot of these cards. The rule book, which is about the same. All right. Sorry if I'm rushing too fast. I am trying to make it to where this video ain't super stretched out or long. And that way people who want to watch it just want to get a gist of it. Of what you what to expect in the decks. Alright. Here's Stella Clark. Huh. Card's already got a little bit of scuffage. Probably hard to see on here, but yeah, there's a little bit of scuffage all over this card for some reason. Huh. Like if that was, this is a magic card. Oh wow, it's all over the back too. Yeah, I can show the scuffage there if I put it in the light. Like that's almost moderately played card already. Like, oh, weird. Anyway, sorry. Sorry for distraction. All right. Wow, all of these cards in this. And this is fresh out of the package. Weird. All right, here we go. Neither rain nor snow. Wow, yeah. These cards are just all scuffed up. Interesting. Called by the miss. Sorry, I got a little distracted looking at that, so now... Yeah, do I try to say that? Atisophobia? Atisophobia? Hmm. Derringer. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Old Key Ring. Granny Orn. Mysterious Raven. Rabbit's Foot. Scrapper. Will to Survive, Test of Will, Dumb Luck, which is actually one of the things I like about the red. I like the luck. They believe they are called the Survivals, Grit Your Teeth, Live and Learn, Look What I Found, Oops, Take Heart. Cherished Keepsake, Leather Coat, Upgraded Derringers, A Test of Will Upgrade, Look What I Found Upgrade, Dumb Luck Upgrade, Unexpected Courage, Granny Orn, Lucky, Chainsaw. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Quick learner. Deja vu. Like I said, I tried to hesitate a little bit on those to where if there's something you want to read, you can kind of read it. If you just want to give a quick pause, kind of look at it. All right. So next we're going to look at Nathaniel Cho.
So nice little artwork here. You can probably tell by the pictures. And of course, I already know because I see in the deck. He is the guardian class. Oh, I'm not. Oh man, this one's really sticking in there. Doesn't want to let go. There it goes. So, Nathaniel Cho, the boxer. Use your boxing gloves and powerful event cards to take out enemies one by one. All right. Really didn't need to use a knife to open these. They actually have a nice way to open. I just impatient and trying to do it quickly. Yeah. Man, all these. This one's all scuffed up, too. I wonder what that has to do with. But Nathaniel Cho, there's the stats. You can see the same. I don't know what that's all about. And I would say it was just because the other little smaller card being in the packaging. Well, this one don't have it, but the other one, it was on the back too, which means there's no way it would have rubbed from the back. So, all right. We got Randall Cho here, an ally. Tommy Malloy. Self-destructive. Boxing gloves. Flesh ward. Brett Wagner. Physical training. I want you to recognize that one. Relentless. Safeguard. Clean them out. Counter punch, dodge, get over here, glory, monster slayer, one two punch, stand together, vicious blow. Yeah, these are all recognize these evidence, galvanize. Counterpunch. Get over here. Lesson learned. Mono a mono. Overpower. Boxing gloves. Brett Wagner. Greta Wagner. Dynamite blast. Taunt. Physical training. And the one two punch. All right, let's move to the last one, which of course is the one I can't, pretty sure I'm saying the last name right. Well, man, those first few were easy to come off, and as I've been getting to these, they're harder and harder to get off of here without just like bending or messing them up. All right, Winifred Habamock. Which way is this supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be like this. There we go. Nice artwork. This is going to lead to Winifred Habermock, the Aviatrix. Throw caution to the wind and commit cards recklessly to skill tests without fear. This is actually... As much as I say, I like to play the red. This is the one I like to play the most. Sorry. Oh, doing all that off camera. There we go. All right. So, rule book. Character card. Winifred Habermock. Sorry, now I'm always going to be checking these to see. It's only that one that had it real bad. This had a little bit of scuffing around the picture, but that's about it. All right. Anything you can do better. 
pretty cool. Look at all that. And then arrogance. Reckless. Lock picks. A Mauser C96. Switchblade. Lucky cigarette case. Lonnie Ritter. A leather jacket. Streetwise. Cheap shot. Dairy maneuver. Ship away. Or slip away, sorry. Slip away. Pilfer. Sneak by. Nimble. A daredevil. Opportunist. Which you should recognize. Liquid Courage. Mauser C96 upgrade. Daring Maneuver. Cheap Shot. Slip Away. Manual Dexterity. Lucky Cigarette Case. Sharp Shooter. Pilfer, Backstab, Copycat, Beretta, ooh, look at that, and Chucky Fergus, Chuck Fergus, sorry, Albanian driver. Well, cool. So I'll be interested to see how these all play out. Hopefully... I didn't go too fast where you could kind of enjoy the cards as you can see them. Going to get these all sleeved up. I'm not sure which one to try out first. Uh, it'll probably be, I like the Daredevil. I'll probably try her, the Aviatrix. But thank you for joining me for this opening and have a great day.